Okay, so now we need to start creating the solar system. So we're going to start with uh, some spheres, and they're going to represent the sun and some planets. Uh, and then we're going to add a moon and a ring. So first thing we're going to do is create a new sphere, like so. Uh, and you may notice this box comes up because Maya's currently gone to the last um, tool selected. So I'm just going to get rid of that by clicking on that little chappy there. Uh, and I'm going to rename this Sun. And then I'm going to scale this down to being 0.5 on every axis. Now there are, again, lots of different ways you can do this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Scale X and I'm going to drag, click and drag down to Scale Z and it'll select all three of those attributes at once. So if I do it on the actual number, I'll click and drag down. So you can see now they're all selected. If I put 0 0.5 in, which is the size that I want this to be, it's actually made all three of those 0 0.5, which is a, another way of just scaling something in a uniform way. So I've done that. What I also want to do, I'm just going to hide my layers thingy for a minute. Um, I've got subdivisions axis and subdivisions height. Now this is actually going to be a really small part of the scene. So at the moment I've got a lot of polygons for this. I don't really need that many. So I'm going to just knock this down to 12 by 12. Um, in fact, I'll just put that back. So if it's 20 by 20, you can see it's quite a high resolution shape. And if I make it 12 by 12, it drops the number of faces, but it'll still serve our needs very well. What I'm also going to do at this stage is just turn off the wireframe on shaded because I want to be able to demonstrate that this actually now looks quite blocky. And we're going to look at how you make it look um, smoother in the next step. 